All right, first video for form for students matrices. Probably I should put even basics here because this is the basics of the basics. Everyone has played the game of tic tac toe before. Yeah. Matrices have a there's a little comparison in this with matrices. You see how you have these like these separate spots, like elements could go inside there. These X's and the O's go inside there. Matrices have that same technique. It's like a honeycomb and you're putting honey, but the honey is numbers. Like this. So each 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 number there's an element in its own separate spot. There's a designated spot. We call it an array. Array of there's more, there's more rows and columns. So the rows are horizontal and the columns are vertical. So rows like rows in a cinema, rows in a church, and the columns like columns in your school. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Here. So an array of rows and columns with elements on the inside, matrix. Boom. Now this term here, order size, deals with how fat, how big the size the matrix is. But there's a little trick to it. You have to talk in terms of row and column. Like you see, this has one, two rows and one, two columns. This is a two times two. Now, I don't want to use the word times. I don't want to use the word times or multiply. I use the word by. So, I'll write multiply sign here, but I already mean two by two. You know, like if somebody say, well, the man hit him with a two by four. You mean two inches by four inches you know what i mean right it's the same thing here it's not like we saying to multiply two by two and get four here we just see now it's a two by two matrix and this matrix has two rows and one two three three columns so this is two by three now you need to remember rows first column second all the time matrix multiplication too which we're not doing today rows first column second rows first by order and size some little special little names to remember row matrix column matrix you can already kind of figure out why they get the name the row matrix the row matrix has to do with if you only seen one row how many columns here one two three three columns just because you've seen one number doesn't mean it's not column one two three columns but one row one row and one row one row one column so if there's one row and there's one column we'll call it a row matrix and column matrix respectively and there's something called the square matrix two rows two columns if you see that going on well you know that's a square matrix let's see if we can make another square matrix let's get creative out here shapes for this soldier yeah so there's a square matrix here in that one two three one two three square get you right same number of rows as columns. If you name in matrices, we normally use capital letters. That's all I need to know. The <laughs> addition and subtraction. Addition and subtraction of matrices. We're coming into some higher level thing here. How does this work? A set as this, B is set as negative, two, three, four, one, two, one. All right, we just we just name up some matrices here. So we just get familiar here. We know A, B, C. Nice to meet you. If we need to add A and B together, how do we do it? Well, we line it up and you know, just put little corresponding colors and thing here. Mm -hmm. um, 235 in the night, AM, 235 AM and a color coding things for, for the nation children here. Yeah. Zero and negative two, that's what you're doing here. You're just adding respective elements. So this six will get added to this one because they in the same situation the same row and column right so this is in the second row second column this is in the second row second all right you catch the idea so let's add them together and see what happens boom so zero and negative two so negative two one and three four and you can check out the rest by the way if you see any mistakes in this it's simply because I am checking to see if you are paying attention. So you can, if you see any mistakes, let me know in the comments. And thing, yeah, I'm just checking to see if you are paying attention. All right, A plus C. There's a problem here. Let me show you the problem. This is A. This is C. 
you know this, this is a square matrix this is a color matrix but that's not necessary the problem is they are different size just kind of add to that you see like this this could match but what going to happen to he so this do work matrix multiplication there are other rules but in terms of addition they must be not compatible because they have different sizes so they must be of the same size order they must be of the same order they must have order for addition to take place common order right scalar multiplication this is like the last thing we're learning for today and then we'll call that george no long video just a little short thing and there's homework on the student hub i'll leave the link in the description i'll leave the link in the comments click on the link go and do a little small homework i'll crack it tomorrow hopefully tomorrow but in the next class we continue in this series right so scalar multiplication how does that work now what is multiplication everybody knows multiplication what is scalar multiplication now there's something called matrix multiplication which i mentioned and something called scalar multiplication that's when you're dealing with matrices we're going to come to the matrix multiplication soon maybe not next class yeah next class we'll come to the next class matrix multiplication Scalar multiplication is like, you see we set P to be there. I'm just getting rid of all these extra football things. We set P to be 2, 3, negative 4, 1. Now if I throw down a random 2 out here, that's the scalar, that's the magnitude, that's the number. That's, let me just call that scalar. Just be happy with that word scalar for me, please. Scalar here, 2 by P. So what's going to happen to this matrix here? This 2 is going to wet down all these numbers. Take a little 2. Take a little 2 there, fellas. Bam. 2 by 2 is 4. 2 by 3 is 6. 2 by negative 4 is negative 8. You catch the idea. You catch the idea. One little trick before we go. What about if the scalar was a fraction? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> if the scalar was a fraction... This is what's going to happen. Don't panic. Just put the turn and multiply by the numbers. Same way. Same how. A little trick that you could do is just put each of the numbers over. Over the tree. You see, you see what's happening there? So a third by one is one over three. A third by negative three is negative three over, ne over three. And you keep doing, you keep doing that. With all the elements. And you break it down, simplify it to your calculator. God is love love and blessings so be sure to check out your homework on the student hub in the csec mathematics channel link will be in the description do that for next class share with your form for veterans and sisters and keep doing some work and prepping and do as the youths say do get fully danced during the holiday period here. so um oh yeah like share subscribe all the usual youtube stuff love and blessings